Hello, people. We are going to use our amazing paper chain skills to make a paper chain animal. We will need a pair of scissors, a glue stick, a marker, and some paper. It can be any paper. It can be old homework. It could be notebook paper. I actually just have some scrap painted papers that I'm going to use. The very first thing you're going to do is to draw straight lines from one side of your paper to the other. I'm going to draw my lines the long way so that my links of my paper chain animal are a little bit bigger. So this paper is really small, so it's just going to have two strips of paper. And I'm going to stack it so that I don't have to recut twice. I'll draw a line right here. Now I'm going to cut there and draw another line. This is a project where we don't need too many paper strips. So now it is time to cut slow and low. That is the tempo. It can be kind of hard to hold two pieces of paper at the same time. So you might want to just do one piece of paper at a time. Or you might want to stack them. And that way, when you cut it, you are getting twice the amount of paper strips. So I'm going to cut one line and I will get two paper strips because I stacked my paper. All right, now I have my paper strips. Now I want you to pick one of your strips. If they're different colors, you can choose if they're all white or lined, pretty easy choice. And you are gonna decide which one you want to be the head of your animal. I'm gonna pick this pink one and you are going to draw two eyes and you can pick any shape. I'm just going to pick the traditional circle, two eyes. Of course, maybe your little creature has a different number of eyes. It's your choice. I'm going to do a circle inside my big circle and I'm not going to color that area. I'm just going to color around it so that you have a little highlight in your eye. Now, if you want, you can add little details. I'm going to add two little eyelashes and I'm going to add an oval nose. You can do any shape nose you want. Little happy mouth. So now we are going to make a link. And the way to do that is to open your glue stick. Rawr. Sometimes it's hard. Ooh, my fingers. Oh, muscles. Oh my goodness. I can't get it open. Oh. I did it. Yay! And you are going to put a little glue on the end. You want to make sure that your face is on the outside. You want to make sure that the end with the glue is under and the end of your paper strip without the glue goes on top. So we just press, 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 press. And we have our first cute little link. Now we take the next paper strip we want and put it through. I want to make sure that, because I have colored paper, that the color is what we see. So when I make my loops, I have to be careful. I don't want to go like that because I, want, I don't want the color on the inside. So I have to make sure that it flips so that the color is on the outside. And I press, keep going until you've used all but one of your paper strips. Put your paper strip through the last link, add some glue, and press. Always add your strips to the back side, not to the face. Put your paper strip through the last link, add some glue, curl into a loop, and press, press, press. Can you guess what it is yet? It's a little caterpillar, but you know what it needs? Some antennae. You're going to take your last paper strip and you are going to draw two little strips. I'm going to actually make mine even 
more narrow. And then you're cutting little strips, little skinny rectangles. We're gonna use our, now we're gonna use our paper curling techniques to make curly antenna. I'll do one at a time, or I could stack them. Let's see if I can stack them. Press it on and then roll it around a pencil. Roll these little skinny strips around a pencil and boing. Now I'm going to put a little glue on the end. I could fold it and make a little foot and then I'll press one on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm gonna put some glue on that other little foot that I folded for my antenna and press it on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yay! And now I've got my cute little caterpillar. Now we can sing. Ooh, my caterpillar jumped off. <laughs> now we can sing our caterpillar song. Lit Little Arabella Miller had a lovely caterpillar. First it crawled upon her mother, then upon her baby brother. All said Arabella Miller, what a lovely caterpillar. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that like button. Oh, and don't forget, always cap your glue stick till you hear that click. Otherwise it dries out. Mm. Ah, there we go. Want to make sure that we can use it for next time.